In the sleepy coastal town of Maple Street, nestled between the whispering waves and the ancient, watchful forest, there lived two cats of legend. Jade, with her sleek black coat that absorbed the light, was as enigmatic as the night itself. Her companion, Gizmo, was a patchwork of colors, vibrant as a painter's palette and just as unpredictable. The townsfolk spoke in hushed tones about the pair, for they were the keepers of the obsidian claw, an artifact of untold power that allowed them to bend the very threads of reality. It was said that the claw was forged from the remnants of a fallen star, its dark surface gleaming with the potential of a thousand worlds. One crisp autumn evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in shades of fire and gold, Jade and Gizmo felt the pull of adventure. The obsidian claw hummed with energy, its call impossible to ignore. With a shared glance that spoke volumes, they activated the claw's power, and in a swirl of shadows and light, they were gone. They reemerged high above the clouds, where the air was thin, and the world below seemed like a distant dream. Before them rose the majestic peaks of Mount Everest, a challenge that beckoned to their wild hearts. With determination in their eyes, they began their ascent. The climb was treacherous, the path uncertain, but Jade and Gizmo moved with a grace that belied their otherworldly nature. They scaled sheer cliffs and navigated icy crevasses, always upward, always together. As they neared the summit, a figure emerged from the blinding white of the snow, a creature of myth, the infamous Yeti. Far from the fearsome beast of legend, this Yeti was a gentle giant with stories of his own to share. Around a fire that burned with no wood and gave off no smoke, Jade, Gizmo, and the Yeti exchanged tales of the places they'd seen and the times they'd traversed. The Yeti spoke of ancient civilizations, of stars that sang and danced, of the quiet that enveloped the world when the snow fell heavy and deep. Jade and Gizmo listened, enraptured, and when it was their turn, they spoke of Maple Street, of the ocean's endless songs, and of the warmth that filled their hearts despite the cold that surrounded them. As dawn broke, painting the world in hues of pink and gold, the three companions knew that their time together was drawing to a close. They had reached the roof of the world, not for glory or fame, but for the simple joy of the journey and the stories that wove their lives together. With a final nod of respect, Jade and Gizmo activated the obsidian claw once more. They left the Yeti with a promise to return, for some stories are too grand to be contained within a single telling. As the portal closed behind them, Jade and Gizmo found themselves once again in the familiar surroundings of Maple Street. The town was just waking up, with the first rays of sunlight glinting off the dew-covered leaves and the gentle murmur of the sea in the distance. They had returned from the summit of Everest, their spirits enriched by the stories shared with the Yeti. But the call of the Obsidian Claw was never silent for long, and even as they settled back into their routine, they knew that soon they would be off on another adventure. And so, they returned to Maple Street, where the adventure had begun, with new tales to add to the tapestry of their legendary exploits. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.